What's up guys? We're outside here for episode two, how to remove mold from your canvas tops. As you can see, uh, we've got some mold here uh, and there's more on the other side. There's two different types of cleaners you can buy. Um, actually, some of this, most of this came out with just normal pressure washing. We're going to flip the camera on here and I'm going to show you what to use. Okay. I got sick of listening to the pressure washer in the background, so I'm gonna voice over this. Um, Tylex was one of the products, but the outdoor bleach I found to be far more effective than uh, any of the other products that I tried. Uh, the reason being is you can strengthen or reduce the strength of the mixture however you feel is necessary. I used uh, 10 full ounces of bleach with 20 ounces of water, and um, it dissolved the mold within 30 seconds to a minute without me having to scrub anything. Um, the top's actually kind of clean right now. I'm just kind of getting the spotting out. Uh, before I clean this, I'll show you a picture. So I'm just gonna take a stiff brush and just keep scrubbing the bleach into the fabric and it will eventually lift all the mold stains that are really deep into the top. This top's never been cleaned, so um, there's some pretty deep mold and mildew stains uh, that exist in it. Um, I showed you guys the picture before. That was just one spot. There were some worse spots that I probably should have taken pictures of, but um, you get the idea how faded and uh, dirty the top was. It almost looked like it was, uh, it was turning white uh, but after the cleaning, the top actually retained its uh, its color, its beige color again, which was really nice. Um, so agitation is important, and also sunlight and heat is important. Uh, it helps open up all the fibers and um, allows the bleach to kind of seep in even deeper. Um, but yeah, so there's a tough mold spot there that's not coming out, but eventually... It did come out, and um, thanks to the bleach, it made it way easier to clean this top and a lot faster. Of course, rinsing it is very important. Um, make sure you get it all out of there. Um, bleach is a harsh chemical, so you don't want it sitting anywhere on the car for too long. Um, so make sure you rinse the paint and you know rinse the glass and stuff like that. And uh, you should be okay. I've never had a problem using bleach to clean anything, uh, especially on uh, canvas tops. Um, I came from boat detailing, and all we used to use is canvas top bleach uh, to clean any any type of canvas, blue, black, white, beige, didn't matter. Uh, if there was mold in it, the boat bleach or outdoor cleaning bleach always got it off um, without having any discoloration or staining. Uh, and then it's also really important to treat it after you're done. This bleach will strip anything that is out of there, uh, anything that is in there out. Um, anything that's protecting it at least even if there's really nothing visibly there um, you're gonna want to make sure that you you put something on it so what I usually use is scotch guard on a rag I'll spray it on a rag and, and wipe it on and then um, if I'm not gonna use scotch guard I use 303 aerospace which is uh, even better than scotch guard but uh, if the car is stored and not kept outside then Scotch Guard really does a good job of keeping the top clean between washes, and uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, very, very straightforward. I'm going to show you guys an after picture of the top, and you guys get an idea of how clean you can actually get a top with just a little bit of bleach and elbow grease and a and a pressure washer. So, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.